protesters, they marched in cities across the country, including right here in Philadelphia last night. This was after Memphis officials released police video showing the violent and untimely and ultimately deadly arrest of 29-year-old Tyree Nichols. Ross DiMatte joins us live now with details and reaction from demonstrators who rallied outside of City Hall. Ross, good morning. Good morning to you, Howard. By no means was this a huge group that gathered to protest here in Philadelphia, but the few dozen who did certainly made their voices heard in Center City. Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! The Philadelphia Party for Socialism and Liberation organized last night's rally. It started at City Hall, and later the group moved through parts of Center City, temporarily blocking traffic on several streets. Chopper 3 was flying overhead following that protest the entire time. Our crews counted about 60 demonstrators in total, many of them carrying signs that read stop police violence while chanting stand up fight back as you just heard. They say the fight for justice was worth taking to the streets on a cold winter night. This is what has become our normal, but we are out here in the streets in the middle of the freezing cold to say that no, it is not normal. Police get away with what they think they can get away with. I think what happened is absolutely awful and it's a result of the system that exists today. Now, before that demonstration got started, our crews counted about a dozen police vehicles, including a, a counterterrorism unit that was parked just about four blocks away from City Hall where that protest started. Police tell us that they were prepared for really anything to happen last night, but they say that protest remained peaceful. Howard, back to you. All right, Ross, thank you. And protests also happened in cities across the country last night, from New York City to Boston, Washington, D.C., and Atlanta. As Ross just mentioned, for the most part, the protests, they were peaceful. New York City police, though, they do report a few arrests. And we will continue to follow the developments as we cover the death of Tyree Nichols. Stay with CBS News Philadelphia and also our website, cbsphiladelphia.com.